Healthy Valleys was set up to reduce health inequalities and we cover the rural area of South Lanarkshire. We were well placed to respond to COVID-19. We had to respond and adapt very quickly to support the communities and people who most needed our support. Pre-COVID we were based in an office. We changed our systems. Everybody went home, we were no longer in the office. Fundamentally for us it was about ensuring that people knew we were still there. As an anchor organisation we were best placed to help support the community pop-up groups. I'm part of a project called Spring. Since lockdown, how we deliver that service has changed quite significantly. We contact people via telephone. One is a listening ear contact and that's a more intensive call where we would do some CBT based stuff. We also do a check-in call, which would be just really asking how people have been, what issues they've been facing, and is there any help we can provide in way of food or finance. Hi, my name's Anthea, and I started with Healthy Valleys a couple of years ago. On a weekly basis, I would run three community cafes, but with the advent of everything closing down and no more gatherings, I've gone from cooking for people to chatting on the phone and being a wee friendly voice and a wee listening ear for people. We've created new partnerships. Um, one example has been Lanark Helps, which the local churches, CCI, the Community Development Trust. We all came together and we, we realised that Lanark needed this extra support, so we all pulled our resources together and we created a, a, a phone line so the local people could phone and they would be able to get support with shopping, picking up prescriptions and mental health and wellbeing telephone calls. Our volunteers are incredible group of people. Pre-Covid they were incredible, during Covid they've been incredible, post-Covid they'll still be incredible. When Covid came around I thought, you know what, this is ideal time because I furloughed from my work. My first ever run was a pre-prescription run to a lady and I had to go to the pharmacy, collect her prescription and drop it off. For volunteering, it's, it's made my lockdown, it's given me something back and I've given something back out to the community as well. When Covid hit, food poverty was at the prevalence, it, it was high in the agenda for people to tackle. We cooked and provided hot meals to the local communities. On the back of that, we then secured funding to do the community larders. This is what we do, we, we help the community and we bring people together. We organise these lovely food boxes and we've been delivering them the response that we've been getting from families is absolutely amazing. Since the beginning of COVID-19, we had to adapt really quickly and we did our activities online, but we thought about how we were going to kind of back that up and that's why we did the activity packs and also the wellbeing boxes. We had lots of families that, and lots of people we might not have expected that took part in our, our knitting group and we sent out knitting packs, all the wool and all the needles. We absolutely did the best we could. You know, we absolutely were part of something that was positive and that, that still empowered people and that enabled people to get on with their lives and live their life the best they could. Mm -hmm.